Hello everyone, my name is Jermaine and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this CCTV security camera effect in After Effects. Very, very quickly before you get into this tutorial, I'll be using the FX console plugin. In this tutorial, basically, it's a very, very quick way to add effects to your layers. You just press a button and then type in the effect you want. You click it and it adds it to the layer that is selected. It's a free plugin on Video Copilot. I'll leave the link below to download. Anyone that uses After Effects uses it and you most should be using it now. But just in case if you're a beginner and you're watching this video, go download this plugin because I'll be using it throughout the tutorial. All right, let's get into it. So I've got my clip in my timeline. I'm going to select my clip and add the posterized time effect and set the frame rate to 10. Then I'm going to add the sharpen effect and set the amount to 150. Next, add the posterize effect and I'm going to set the level to 20. Next, I'm going to add some grain. So add the grain effect. I'm going to set the viewing mode to final output. And I'm going to set a preset to this one right here. You can use any preset you want. I just prefer this one. I'm going to set the intensity to 2.5 and the size to 1.2. Next, to smooth out all these effects, I'm going to add the Gaussian blur effect and I'm going to set the blurriness to 7. After that, then add the Lumetri color effect and set the saturation to 0 so the image is black and white and ramp up the contrast so we can crush those blacks. Basically, we want to degrade this footage as much as we can. Next, to get the time code in the top corner on the right, all you have to do is add a black solid and add the numbers effect to it. I'm going to change the color of the numbers to white. Okay, and I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to move it by its anchor point to the top right of the screen. Next, I'm going to change it to time code 24 or whatever frame rate you're using. Perfect. And for the date in the top left corner, add text with the font VCR Mono, which is free to download on thefont.com. So this is the effect. Next, if you just want to add a little bit more to add some more CCTV effectism, you can add some static lines, some VCR static lines. So let's create that now. I'm going to create a line across my footage. So click on the pen tool, then click here, hold shift, then click here to create a straight line, then pre-compose this shape layer. So right click, pre-compose, click OK, and double click the pre-composed shape layer. Next, add a black solid above the shape layer. I'm going to call it fractal texture. Then add the fractal noise effect to the solid and set the fractal type to thread. Decrease the brightness. Set the overflow to clip. And under transform, I'm going to decrease the scale to about 50 and set the complexity to 4. Then under evolution, Alt or Option click the random seed and type in the expression random open bracket or open parentheses 0 comma 10,000 close bracket or close parentheses I'm going to say bracket going forward because I'm English this makes sure a random texture is generated every frame between number 0 and 10,000 once that's done set the line to luma mat of the fractal noise texture click on our shape layer track mat and select the layer above click here to switch it to a luma mat like so now that that's done, we need this line to randomly go up and down our frame. So to do that, press P to open up the position on the shape layer. Alt click position and type in wiggle open bracket 24 comma 1080 close bracket 24 because of it being my composition being 24 frames per second and 1080 because I want it to move 1080 pixels up and down to fit the height and base of my clip. So if you're working in a 1080p timeline, you will set this to 540. Next, I'm going to open up the stroke width and set a wiggle to it. So Alt or Option click stroke. Type in wiggle 24 comma 2 close brackets. So the line's thickness randomly goes between 1 and 2. And lastly, to smooth it out, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. So add an adjustment layer, right click adjustment layer. Then add the Gaussian blur effect. And I'm going to set this to about 1.5. And now we have this VHS static effect. You can obviously duplicate the clip to create more lines going across the screen. And because this layer is transparent, you can render this out and add it to a pack, which you can sell or give away for free or just use yourself. Anyways, so that's the CCTV camera effect inside After Effects. My name is Jermaine and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.